What is up everyone? I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Tiva Alp Premiere, aka the Moses Kicks, the Jesus Sandals, the Jesus Elevens. But obviously I'll review it in this video, but I'm also going to show you guys how I style sandals in tech wear and even in some streetwear fits. And then lastly, I will show you guys about five kind of budget options for sandals, for kind of tech wear and streetwear as it warms up into spring and summertime. So Tiva is a good brand for more functional sandals and they do focus on active wear so they don't just look good but they perform well as well my dad has had a pair of tevas ever since i can remember and he still has them to this day still rocks them not that i would style it in a way that my dad styles it but at least they're very durable and they do last a long time so the main platform that this sandal is built upon it's super heavy duty and definitely feels very sturdy and it still remains to be comfortable even though it's not super soft and then moving on to the tread on the bottom, it's very well textured and they do switch to a different rubber compound for durability. And like I said earlier in the video, my dad does have a pair of these and has had them for years. So I don't foresee these wearing out anytime soon. Moving on to the straps up here, the Premier ones do, do have a little bit heavy duty of a heel strap. And then there's a nice buckle to get your foot in and out on. So unbuckle that and you just slide your foot in. Now I had to tighten these two front straps down onto my foot because I guess I have skinny feet. So it's quite easy to tighten for the perfect fit. And you can also adjust this buckle strap right here with some Velcro. They're very well padded as well. I was kind of afraid that they would be kind of wearing on your feet in different areas, but it doesn't seem to be the case. However, I have only worn these with socks and I probably only plan to wear them with socks. So as you can see, these straps are very well designed and how it tightens down to your foot. It not only looks good, but it also functions very well as well, holding your foot on to the platform. But anyways, not too much else I can say about these. These straps are very thick and very heavy duty, but the whole sandal feels very sturdy and it doesn't feel like it's gonna give out anytime soon. For example, um, last summer, I ended up picking up these from Target for about like 20 bucks. I actually really like the look of these sandals, especially the straps, but they're not built really well. They didn't fit super well. So I think these are a big upgrade. Now, being a 90s sandal, uh, you can definitely hop out of your Subaru Outback and go shopping at Whole Foods for some granola, just some real white people shit. Also, the Tiva sandals do run true to size. If you want them a little bit on the smaller side, so there's not so much of a ledge on the toe and heel, you can probably go down half the size, but I just went true to size. I, I think it looks better too. Um, it kind of, I actually enjoy the look of it being a little bit bigger than your foot. Kind of gives a cool kind of aesthetic to it. So when it comes to styling sandals in tech or and in streetwear, it should be pretty easy. And if you have like any like kind of fashion sense, again, it should be pretty easy. So I can tell you guys how I will style it, which I'll probably be styling it with plain pants mostly. Kind of keep the whole fit very plain, just because these are pretty strap heavy as their straps going all over the sandals. So keep the pair of pants very plain, not super pocket heavy and try to avoid anything super dangly or super strap heavy. So I think pretty much any pair of plain crop pants will work very well, not pretty much with any pair of shoes, but including sandals. So for example, this picture, I'm wearing some tapered Wrangler Outdoor Series pants. They're like 20 bucks from Target, but they're very simple and they have a nice stretch to them. And I think they work well with the sandals because they're not super loud. However, it is more of a balanced look. So in this fit, I'm wearing the Uniqlo U nylon shorts. They're very good for summertime, super lightweight. And then just a sandal, some black socks with it kind of squished down and then a white t-shirt and a bag. I think it's kind of a cool kind of tech wear streetwear look uh, for spring and summertime. So in this fit, I'm wearing them with black socks again, and I'm wearing them with some nice tapered pants. I'll probably be wearing them with either my 511s, which have some very low profile cargo pockets or the Wrangler Outdoor Series pants. Um, and then just kind of a plain shirt and a bag. I think it's a very simple kind of tech fit for springtime and summertime. So if you guys have any styling tips, please drop it in the comments below because I would like to read it. And I'm sure everyone else would like to know your insight on that. Okay, so I just want to show you guys kind of five quick other options to these out premieres. And as you can see, I did get these on sale for $40, so 50% off, really good deal. They only have a size 14 left so if you have a shoe size 14 you're in luck however it's probably not the case 
Um, luckily though, they do have them from other retailers like REI and Outland USA, Mountain Steels and Moose Jaw, all for around 50 to $60. So not too bad. Um, now, a lot of these sandals that I will be showing you, um, they do kind of resemble these suikoids. I think that's how you say it. I could totally be butchering that. Um, but they look really cool, however, they are kind of expensive. Um, but anyways, my friend does have these Birkenstocks Essentials Arizona EVA slides. Um, and I do like them in all black. They have them in tons of different colorways, but I'm gonna ask him real quick kind of what he thinks and get some on feet shots of these. No. Tell me about doing it. that. You talk about it. I don't I don't own them. You own them. Check sorry, the sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just uh, true to size. How they fit? Comfort level one to ten. Comfort level one to ten. I'll give it a a seven. A seven. <laughs> um, true to size. True um, to size. I got they're in European. European. So I got forty one. True size and your your European size. Okay, moving on to Tiva's website. They do have a lot to offer. And so I kind of went through and I just picked out the ones that I thought worked the best. Um, now, these are the most similar to what I already have. Um, these are the Universal Premier. They have the same sole and the same heel strap. Um, however, the strap on the toe is a little more simple. And I think these would work. I like just how simple they are. So I'm pretty sure my dad has a pair very similar to these. Moving on to a little toned back version of that. And you do save a little bit on the price right here. As you can see, it's 50. Um, same basic design, just a little bit slimmer overall, not as heavy duty. Um, they do have them in multiple different colorways, which is super cool. Uh, moving away from just Tevas, uh, I found these on Zappos.com, these free waters. Supreme Sport, wow. Supreme. 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 That's funny. Anyways, I like the design of these and how the straps interact with each other. I think it's pretty unique. Um, they are 60, so around the same price range. Um, Zappos is always pretty good. I have ordered them before. They do super fast shipping as well. And lastly, this isn't really tech wear, but I really like these slides. They do have them in olive as well. Um, they do really remind me of these uh, Moto Cab ones that are like 200 and these are 70. So, I mean, slightly different, but I think it's something to check out. Thank you guys for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. I really enjoyed making it. I know this is kind of early for kind of spring and summer tech wear stuff. Just earlier this week, it, w it got down to about zero degrees Fahrenheit where I live. So it doesn't really feel like spring right now, but I know a lot of the rest of the world is kind of starting to warm up. So huge thanks to my friend Nick for letting me showcase his sandals. And then thank you guys for stopping by. If you guys have any suggestions on some sandals, you can go ahead and drop them in the comments below. I'd like to check them out. I'm sure other people would too. But again, thank you. And thank you to everyone who subscribed. I really appreciate every single one. And I'll see you in a video very soon.